Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to practically demonstrate one of the Selenium WebDriver commands that is get cookies command. So what is the purpose of this command? Let me explain. This command when used in your Selenium automation code will retrieve all the cookies that are added by your given application. Here in this example, this is the application guys, this is the application URL. When you browse this application, this application will add some cookies in your browser. Those cookies will be retrieved by this get cookies command. All the cookies added by this given application in your local browser will be retrieved by this get cookies command. That is the purpose. Now let me practically show you how to use this get cookies command to retrieve all the cookies that are added by this given web application in our Selenium automation script. Fine. So here is some sample automation code guys, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser and opening this application URL like this. Okay, we'll be opening the application URL like this in the Chrome browser. Once this application URL is open in the Chrome browser, this application URL will automatically add some cookies in our browser. So to retrieve all those cookies added by this application in our browser, we need to write this command that is driver.manage get cookies command. This is the command guys. We have to use this command for retrieving all the cookies that are added by this application in our browser. So here this get cookies command will be returning you set of cookies. Okay, a list of cookies will be returned guys. So it's not a single cookie. It may be more than one cookie. So that's why cookies I am adding the name as cookies create local variable a set of cookies got added. So now I'll use for each loop to iterate through all these cookies and get the details of this cookies. Let me show you. So create a for each loop each and every each and every thing of this cookies is a cookie, right? Single cookie. So it's a cookie type. So for cookie for each and every cookie in this cookies like that, we have to write the for each loop for each and every cookie of this cookie. Cookies. We need to iterate through this for each loop. So here we need to write system.out.println will be getting the cookie details. Let's say this website is adding three cookies. Let's say this uh, website is the application when browsed is adding three cookies in your Chrome browser. Then using this for each loop, we'll be iterating through each and every cookie that is added by this uh, website in our uh, Chrome browser and we'll be printing the details of those cookies. So in the first iteration, first cookie details will be printed. So I want to print the cookie name. First of all, I want to print the cookie name. How to get the cookie name? Just copy this. So we have to use the cookie dot cookie dot get name of the cookie. So we have to use this command get name command to get the name of the cookie that is added by this uh, web application in our browser. Next, I want to retrieve and print the cookie value. After printing the cookie name, I want to print the cookie value. For that, we have the command get value command. Cookie dot get value. Now, I want to print the domain of the cookie. Cookie, here cookie value guys. Now, next value I want to print about the cookie is cookie domain. Domain information of the cookie I want to print. For that again, cookie dot get domain. After this, I want to print the path of the cookie. I want to print the path of the cookie. So all these commands are available guys, okay? Here, uh, when you say cookie dot, you'll get all these commands, get domain, get name, get path, like this, okay? Get value, then get expiry. These are generally used commands, domain, name, path, value, expiry are the generally used commands I'm using. So now get the path of the cookie. Now I want to get one more thing that is a uh, cookie expiry date what is the expiry date of the cookie cookie generally expires guys okay if there is any expiry date set for a cookie the cookie will expire so that information i want to print here cookie dot get expiry like this several details we can print guys now after printing some all these details of a single cookie this for each loop will iterate three times if uh, this particular application adds three cookies on your browser this for each loop will iterate three times for every iteration i just want to add a separation kind of thing just uh, for demonstration purpose i'm adding this line guys so that uh, we can know that how many cookies got added and uh, we will get all, each and every detail of the individual cookie 
Now, after iterating through the cookies and printing those details of the cookies, I want to simply close the browser. Okay, once the task is done, I want to close the browser. Now, guys, this is a script, guys, uh, for uh, using the get cookies command for retrieving all the cookies that are added by this web application. And thereafter, we are uh, we are uh, actually retrieving the data of each and every cookie that got added by this cookies using this commands. Right click run as Java application. You see, the web application got uh, opened and uh, immediately it got closed. In between that, uh, we retrieved all the details of the cookies and all those details of the cookies got printed here. So how many cookies got retrieved, guys? First cookie, second cookie, third cookie. For each and every cookie, we have printed the name of the cookie. First cookie name is something. Cookie value is like this. Cookie domain is uh, the web application we are browsing. Cookie path is slash. Cookie, it doesn't have an expiry date. Second cookie, the name is currency. The value is USD. This is a domain. This is a path and this is expiry date. This particular cookie, first cookie is not going to expire maybe. Uh, maybe it doesn't have an expiry date. Whereas second cookie, second cookie has this expiry date, okay? Has this expiry date. Now third cookie also has the expiry date. So this is the third cookie. Name of the third cookie is language and value is en hyphen gb. Fine guys, this is how we need to use the get cookies command of Selenium web driver for retrieving all the cookies that are added by the given web application in our browser. Hope you understood how to use the get cookies command. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.